Hey, how's it going in today? I'm going to show you how to create this kind of functionality where you can save your position in a game and then when you come back to the game you can reload that position back in. So it gets you kind of started with saving levels and things like that but just more at a basic level. So here if I'm in this game, let's say I'm running around and for some reason I get positioned, I like this position over here in the corner, I would just go save and the location is going to be saved. And then let's say I continue gameplay and I'm messing around and I get myself in a bind over here somehow and I decide, you know, I'd like to go back to where I was. I just put load and then I'm back where I was. And if I were to quit the game and start it again, then I would start in player start. But if I print load, I can go back to where I was. Allowing me to save my location in the game, not so much a level. I hope to be getting into this more, but this is actually surprisingly complicated. And so I'm gonna just stop and I'll start from scratch and I'll kind of show you what I did. So to be completely honest with you, this has been somewhat glitchy and I'm having issues with the blueprint communication. I'm getting notes and warnings when I don't think I should be. And so I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I've gotten it working more often than not so to get started we're just going to go ahead and make our interface first so we'll just go into interface widget blueprint user widget and this is just a real quick and dirty blueprint we're going to make here so i'm just going to get a canvas panel and drag this onto the scene and then i'm just going to get a button and bring that down on the canvas panel and then i'm just going to get some text and bring that on the button. And I'm going to name the button Save. And oh, did I name the canvas panel? Whoops. I think I accidentally named the canvas panel, but oh well. We'll call this Save 1. And then the text block, we're going to name this Save Location. And then we'll kick back on the button, and then we're going to go size the content size and then we're going to bring that down like this we're going to collapse this hit Control d make a copy of it and then we're going to drag it down right beneath that other one like that and then for the button name we're just going to call this load and for its text we're going to go load last location and that's it for that and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the save button and we're scroll down here to the bottom and go on clicked and then we're going to come over to event dispatcher and we're going to type in notify save and we'll compile and save and then we're going to drag this on go call so we're going to call this over in the first person blueprint once this button is clicked. And then if we right click on load, we can go on clicked here, and then we can create another event dispatcher. And we're gonna name this one notify load. Close that, compile and save that. Drag this onto the scene, go call, and drag that in like that. And compile and save that. And then we're done with the interface. Then, as far as saving the game goes, the one thing we have to do is create the saved game blueprint. And so we're going to right-click again, Blueprint Class. All this time, we're going to go into All Classes and go Save Game, Select. And I'm just going to call this Save It. And I'll double-click into it. I'm going to go ahead and dock this. And then we're just going to need one variable in here, and it's going to be a transform variable. So we'll go transform. And then we'll go to transform. We can make that public, compile, and save. And that's all we have to do with that. So the rest of our work now will just be in the first person blueprint. So hopefully your eyes won't get too glazed over doing this, but I know my eyes were. <laughs> My eyes are getting glazed over doing this, so. Anyway, what we can do is scroll in here and 
grab on the event begin play and just scooch it out like that you might want to scooch it out a little ways and then hit alt and click right there and disconnect it for right now and then we're going to right click and get the player controller and what we'd have to do is we have to enable the mouse click functionality so if we right click we should be able to get something called game and UI this one set input mode and put this in for player controller and this in there and then we should be able to drag out from here and go enable click events this one right here well not get I'm sorry it's supposed to be set so enable set enable click events that's what the one we want and we'll just drag this into here and set that to enable and then just drag out one more time and go set show mouse cursor and drag that over here and I'm sorry this is getting a little messy and I would normally put reroute nodes in there but in the interest of time I'm just going to leave it so that sets up our user interface this is the last part of it really is we have our everything all set up and now here's where it really gets messy so the first thing we're going to do is create our widget so we're going to just drag off of here and go create widget and we're going to set it to our new widget and then we're going to add to viewport so add this to the viewport and this node here this pin right here this return pin is very important because this is what's going to allow us to complete our the communication the receiving end of our event dispatcher communication and so there's going to be a notify save and a notify a notify load and so I'm just going to drag off of here and I should be able to search for bind and down here on the bottom this is the one I want is the notify save is one so I'll hook this up here and then I'll drag off here and then I'll search for bind again and then I want the bind load and there we go and now on a lot of the other tutorials you'll see there you have all this branch logic in there where the game automatically saves your levels or creates it if it hasn't been done and my thinking on all that is that I'd like to just leave that to the user to decide if they want to save or load a level or what they want to do I don't feel like Unreal Engine should be deciding that for them so when they go to play the game they can decide if they want to load the level save the level not save the level and there's an interface for them to do that so I don't think there needs to be a branch in there that's saving it or loading it without them them needing to do it so in a sense the on click is the branch but it's the user deciding which way the branch should go so anyway we're going to go ahead and we have to do custom events so on the one we're going to do is I can right click here and go add custom event here and I can just name this I'm just going to name this save for clarity and then I'm going to do another one add custom event and I'm going to do this call this load and then these are our, essentially our branches so on the we'll put this one into here and this one into here and I'll try to keep them as separated as possible and like I said I would put reroute nodes in there but I'm going to save that for another day so it's just these two branches that we have to complete now and we're on our we're on our way so what I'd like to do is I'd like to start with doing the load node first and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and drag off of here and we're gonna go ahead and search for load game slot so it should be load save game from slot this one right here and our slot number is going to just be one and that should be that and then what we're going to do is from here we're going to drag off 
and we're going to go to cast to save it and that's our blueprint we made now this is a point of a t kind of a technical point but so what we really need for this to be able to get the variable the transform variable out of the blueprint is a is a publicly exposed variable object reference variable but we don't have we haven't made that over there but we'll have the option here if i click here to promote this to a variable so in a sense by doing this cast to in a sense i'm sort of cheating because i'm casting and then at the same time i'm making the object reference variable so sometimes unreal engine will give you a note or saying why are you casting when you have the the object reference variable over here but I created the object reference variable from the cast to node. So I don't know why un that ruffles Unreal's feathers for some reason. But anyway, this is a way that works usually, but sometimes you'll get a message saying, why are you casting when you have the object reference variable? Well, I created the object reference variable from the casting node, that's why. So I don't know if that's a glitch or an oversight or whatever, but you might get a message about that. So really right here, we just have two small, two little steps to do to complete this leg of it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for set actor transform right now. So set actor transform. And we'll see, maybe I'll get the error and it'll become clearer. Off of here, since we, we do have this set up, we should be able to pull off of here, hit this, and then we just plug this into there. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna do a print string. So print string, and this is just gonna say location loaded. All right, and then that takes care of that branch. So now our last one is just gonna be up here and we're gonna go ahead and drag off of here and go create, save, game object and then we're going to set this to our save it class and then off of here we can drag and get i don't know should we can we get it from here it's save save game to slot and let me go ahead and disconnect this because i do need to add something in here and i was also going to get the set transform I should be able to get it from here set transform and then we'll plug this in here this in here and then we just need to get actor location so get actor transform excuse me and we'll plug this in here and then we need to put the slot number in here one and then the last thing is to print a string. And I believe that's everything that needs to be hooked up is hooked up. So let's see. And then this is going to be print string. And this is just simply going to say location save. And hopefully, let's see if we get any errors. I'm just double checking here. And let's go ahead and hit compile and save. And let's see if I get any errors on running this. Let's see if it works. So there's our game. I'll take off over here. So let's see, I'll stop there. Save location, location saved. Go over here, go back over here. Load location, it takes me right back there. Now let's go ahead and hit, go ahead and stop the game. I don't get any errors, that's fantastic. Hit play, and we're back again. So that's it. So the last thing I was gonna show you is if you get in a jam, because I had issues where it was glitching up, and it's like, it was loading outside of the box, and it, the character kept falling. If that happens to you, what you can do is you can go into your, your Unreal projects, and go in like a project here, under saved, and go to save games and it's right here 
And if you delete that, that should clear your cache on that and you should be able to start the game fresh if you get into some kind of super glitch. But that's all I had for today. I'm sorry this took longer than usual, but this is a little more complicated than it might seem. But I thought this would be a good introduction to at least saving your spot in the game, your location in a game, and then from there developing more sophisticated saving mechanisms. So anyway, that's all I had. Take care and have a great day.